please a photo come to you guys and share with you guys my my sort of foundations that I use so from high end to well, what I call high end to you know your drugstore foundations and I guess you know what I prefer and what I do like um, so I just thought I'd share with you guys and just have a chit chat and you guys can comment down below let me know what you like what your sort of foundations that you use and yeah so let's get into it I'm gonna show you my stuff <clears throat> So, as I said, I have different collections. So, I used to use MAC. I was a MAC believer um, from an early age. Well, I say early age, from 18. I've been using MAC ever since. Um, and then my color started changing with MAC. Sometimes I'll be NW45. Then I went into the NC range. Then I dipped back into the um, NWs. Then I went back into the NC range and I became NC50. It, it was just weird, but it worked and I love Mac. I totally love Mac, but I do not have Mac here. Um, so, drugstore wise, I love, 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 love the Maybelline BB Pure Dream. Um, absolutely love this. And I'm a shade 140 Deep Share Tint. This is actually what I have on today. It's just an everyday going to work kind of foundation look for me. Um, it just gives you a nice glow and it's so smooth in the skin. It's like almost if you're just putting a cream on your face. I just have that on and a bit of um, highlighter. Um, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So nice. Not heavy on your face. It's beautiful, but I don't build on it because it's supposed to be natural. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I have on. Love it. And it's super cheap as well really cheap i think i bought mine for six nine nine dollars in walmart so pretty good and then the next one i'm gonna talk about is the esther lorde double wear mm. love 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 this this is like my glam going out foundation amazing if you want that sort of coverage of just glam not too matte look but just glam this summertime this because this doesn't move like in the heat it doesn't move it, it's perfect i love the double wear um amazing love it that's all i can say it's a bit expensive but not, not actually it's kind of think it's expensive I can't remember how much I got this for. It's around your 30 to 40 mark. So not so bad, but I love it. And then the next one I have, so you can see that I probably have a couple of NYXs, right? Love them, especially in this pandemic, right? Where we got to wear face mask. This stuff does not move from your face. Like it is super matte, so you do have to hydrate a lot. So I use my, and the best thing that I probably use is my Dr. Organics Vitamin E, Organic Vitamin E cream, and it's super hydrating. I put that on my skin, um, on my face, of course, and I go with this. I have them in two shades. So I have Sienna and I have Cappuccino. Uh, why did I buy it in two shades? They both fit me, but I think it depends on lighting and depends on whether it's summer or whether it's winter or whether the sun is out, shall I say, or if the sun is not out, but they're both sort of my colors kind of thing. I love them. If you're wearing a face mask and you, you don't even have to powder up your foundation when you finish, like these do not move. So if you have a super dry face, yeah, probably not the best of foundations to use because you might be very, very dry and you actually feel it in your skin. But if you're on balanced skin, like a normal skin type or oil, these are your go-to. And they don't rub off on your face mask. And that's why I love wearing them during the pandemic <laughs> when I'm going out. And they're super cheap. I mean, I bought this for, it was on sale online. I think I bought it for 
I want to say ten dollars, but they're still ex they're not expensive. They're like maybe thirteen, fifteen dollars. I don't think it's even that much. But anyway, in the U.S., I bought it for ten dollars, close to eleven dollars. So it was ten eighty six dollars on sale. So absolutely love these. Absolutely love these. NYX can't stop, won't stop. Full coverage. Okay, and then. Oh, you can tell how much I've used this, right? This is all peeled off because I love it too. This is my L'Oreal True Match. I have her in the shade Caramel Toffee 8.5D. Can I zoom in that? 8.5D and 8.5W Caramel Toffee L'Oreal True Match. Love it. Like it's almost done. This was my everyday go to work foundation. Like. It's amazing. It's a true match, you know. The way it blends in is flawless. Um, no matter the weather, whether it's sunny, whether it's, you know, cloudy, it doesn't matter. This was amazing. As I said, it's almost done. And I bought this in the UK. Uh, but I can never find it here in Malta where I am right now. So that's why when I went to the US, I bought this. So this is now my everyday foundation as I'm wearing today kind of thing. But I will be hunting down for the L'Oreal True Match when I get back to London, when I visit. And then, who doesn't have this, right? This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. So, I have her in 340. I used to use a 355 and this is a very popular one. This was the Coconut 355. 355. 355 and yes absolutely love it it's almost it almost gives me the same feel as the Maybelline Dream BB um, which is very nice and just amazing when it goes into your skin and stays on and it's pretty um, so it's matte is matte and poreless so it, it sucks in you don't see your pores basically it's just a nice foundation but I've discovered I have for some reason gone lighter <laughs> And I think that's because I'm using my glycolic pads, um, my glycolic acid pads to always clean my face every day now. That's something I started doing after I gave birth to my son. So that's four months or five months ago. Um, so I started using glycolic pill, but I'm not going to divert into that. I'll share that with you guys after. Um, so my skin is a lot brighter now. And I noticed that I am now a 340 cappuccino in the Maybelline Fit Me absolutely love this foundation and that's why when I traveled I had to get another one because this one is pretty much done I don't know why I'm keeping empty bottles um, but you know when you love something that you don't want to let go of it that's why and I love collecting bottles <laughs> um, okay so I think that's pretty much it and what do I use for concealer so I used to use um, what's it called I used to use Toffee, which is that, what is that brand called? It's going to drive me mad. I can't remember what the name is. It's just right at the tip of my tongue. I used to use Fawn and I used to use Toffee. But now, anyway, my go-to is this. The Maybelline. You guys must think I love Maybelline, right? But I'm sorry. The, the Maybelline has broken the barriers and adding colors for women of colors, which is amazing because maybe let's say five years ago or four years ago, you walk into any of your drugstore or, you know, your as there's a Walmart and you would never see colors for our color, for women of color with Maybelline. And Maybelline has just totally pushed out the barriers and have amazing colors for women of color. Um, and yes, yeah, so in terms of concealer, I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. And this is what I use to conceal. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. Sorry, guys, I'm looking at the mirror because there's something that is bugging me with my hair. Absolutely love it. It actually erases any dark circles you have. I, I mean, I'm lucky and fortunate enough that I don't have dark circles, but it, it's a nice natural highlighter. It is what I have on. So I just normally do the little... And that's it. I don't do the whole triangle stupidness that, you know, everyone has been doing previously. You don't need to do that. So down, down, and just across here. 
and then a little bit of my bridge in my nose and that's it that's all I've done today in terms of my look and that's how I, how I use this um, to achieve my desired look and absolutely love it so this is what I use and um, I bought I, I went crazy and I bought five because I tried it once I was like <gasps> And I just went back to the store and I bought five of it in one go. So yeah, this is what I've been using um, and I'm always going to use. I'm not going to switch from that touch wood. It keeps working for me. Okay, and then I guess for my powders, still stuck with the Maybelline. I still stuck with my Maybelline Fit Me um, powder. Again, in the 355 Coconut, which is interesting. So I did tell you guys that I've gone lighter and I use the 340 now. But previously I used to use the 355 but sometimes I don't want to look too light especially when you've concealed and um, you put on your translucent powder and you might have a little cast on your face from translucent powder powder I then go in with my fit me in the 355 which is just maybe a shade or half a shade darker than I am and just tone everything down and it's perfect everything works out and comes together um, nicely so yeah that's there that's the only powder I use on my face well not the only powder but in terms of setting powder that's what I use on my face and then of course um, my airspawn loose face powder I use this before I put on my foundation and after I put on my foundation but I do find it does leave you a white cast and that's why I then go on with my fit me just to blend it all out and what do I use to conceal, um, to contour my face and my nose? Um, again, I like to keep my makeup really natural because it's work, all right? You're, you're not going to the Grammys or whatnot. You know, it's not a dinner party, it's work. Um, so I use the Zuri um, Tender Brown. It's a bronzing powder, pressed powder that I use. And that's what I use in contouring my nose, you know, my, you know, cheekbones. I don't really do that much today um, and that, this is what I use I just love to be just natural when I go to work kind of thing what else do I have in my makeup set and every black girl is got to have a cover girl queen and I have her in the ebony bronze this is what I used to chisel but I didn't do that today if I want to chisel if I'm going out out I tend to put it over here over here just to give it that sucked in look kind of thing so cover girl i've had this for ages ages so this was maybe two three years now i've had this three years three years now i've actually had this um absolutely love it and then my conceal my not my concealer my blushes malali Mil milani in coral cove beautiful beautiful initially when it came out, I was like this in color for a black girl but <laughs> it's gorgeous it is so pigmented it shows on your cheeks it gives you a nice rosy you know kind of show love it there you go can you see that milani color cove coral cove and then i had the mac boy i've had this forever like I, it doesn't even have a name at the back of it and like it's just a nice orange, like in a nice summer day. Just put it on your face, again, pigmented, and it's just cute. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna do another series around um, what I use for my eyes in terms of mascaras, my favorite mascaras, um, but I'm gonna save that for another day. I feel like I've been talking a lot here. So yeah, good to catch up. Definitely leave me comments below about what your favorite foundations are. I love watching videos to see what foundations of people are using, what's new, what's not good, you know, to find out traits because, hey, we all love our skin and we want to look good and we're always shopping for foundations, right? So let me know what you like and let me know if you like this video, subscribe and thumbs up. Um, but yeah, good talking to you ladies. Bye.